Hello Zuber, uh, thank you very much for uh, being here. So I'd like just to tell a few words about you. So you are my uh, teacher from 10 years before in uh, France uh, and you are also the teacher who taught me for the first time about finite element analysis. So I'm so glad to have you here uh, and to be able to ask you again a few questions about that. Thank you so much for uh, your invitation. I am uh, very proud uh, about you because uh, it is uh, since many years that uh, I gave you uh, uh, the initiation of uh, finite element method and all other numerical method. And when I see your uh, what you have, you have done uh, since these uh, these years, I am extremely proud of you. Uh, I, I I expected that you will be a very very good student because you was one of the best students that I, I have and uh, I am very happy to be here and uh, very very happy to, to meet you again and uh, thank you for your invitation. Mm. So thank, thank you so much. I, I, okay. I really appreciate uh, to have <laughs> such a good uh, word from you. Uh, I wanted to ask you a bit uh, some questions about finite element analysis because you are the, the expert. What, uh, why do you think now finite element analysis is uh, so important uh, for engineers in uh, companies? Uh, finite element mm, uh, analysis are extremely important because we are facing more and more problems. Uh, and these problems nowadays are more complicated than the problems that we are facing uh, in last uh, century. Uh, the problems now are multidisciplinary. So we are facing the problems that are, which are mechanical, thermal, hydrical and chemical in the same time mm -hmm. and for that we need a powerful tool and extremely precise tool which can deal with heterogeneity and with dynamic in the same time and I think that fine element method are extremely useful and resting for such problems for the problem of the future. Mm -hmm. So you have more than 20 years of teaching of fine element method uh, to engineering students what do you think is the most important for students to know about finite elements? Uh, for me, the most important for the student is that they have to back to the basis, which is very, very important. Theory for finite element method is extremely important. And uh, we have to, to go deeper in the understanding and the learning from, uh, from, from the theory and that is the first step. The second step, which is very important, we have to be a good engineer and to use these uh, this, uh, tools for practical case for resolving the problem of the society. Mm -hmm. So which I advise for the students is not to use the finite element method as, uh, as, uh, as any uh, Excel or Word software, mm -hmm. but to keep in mind that there is theory behind, that there is analysis behind, that there is a brain behind mm -hmm. and, and that there is responsibility behind mm -hmm. for, for designing and for sizing, sizing, sizing the, 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 the projects or the, mm -hmm. or the product that we have to use for, uh, uh, with, uh, with finite element method. Mm -hmm. And, to keep, and the, the last thing that I advise for my students is to go gradually for their knowledge. And this gradually is very, very important because there is something that we can teach but there is something that we cannot teach, but we can learn by ourselves. Mm -hmm. And with what I am doing usually is that I instill and I encourage my students to learn by themselves yeah. because, uh, because there is some, something interesting which is not written in the books, mm -hmm. something interesting which are not found in the net. So we have to learn by ourselves. And the experience from some person, engineer, mm -hmm. practical, uh, senior person that we have to discuss with them yeah. because there is a lot of experience yeah. which is not written in the book yeah. and this is extremely important. When we, example, are discussing together, there is a lot of knowledge which is not written in my yeah. courses, yes. not given. Yeah. So we have to discuss, to analyze, and this is very, very important, the experience. And this is actually something I appreciated a lot from your uh, teaching because when a uh, usual professor I had where uh, presenting the equation and telling us this is the result. But your courses, you were presenting the problem and then you were telling us now solve me this problem. And then you were waiting. So some of the students in the class may think, oh, this is strange, why he's doing like that? But I think I understood 
uh, when we really tried to solve those problems by ourselves, we were getting closer to understanding how uh, things work and why those equations are actually useful. So, you, you, you use, the, you use the, the, the main word in the beginning, you said that you have the patient, and this is very, very important. Because for me, there's two things which are important, the brain and the practical user for the society. Mm. Which, uh, I, I, am not, uh, I, am, I, am, I am not putting, uh, I am not giving uh, uh, commercial tools for my student to use it for one's time. I am giving a method, a system, yeah. and a, a, a method for my student to yeah. think, yeah. to design, to understand, to compare, to critic, yeah. and because they will, in the future, in yeah. 10 years, in 5 years, in 20 years, yeah. they will face other problems. Yeah. So, and these problems are not in their box. Yeah. So they have the method how to resolve a new problems. This is my method of pedagogy that I use it in order to, to have the, the, the real skills with mm -hmm. the soft mm -hmm. skills, which we call it also general skills, and in the same time to be practical mm -hmm. to, for, for, for the society, and this is very, very important for me. Mm -hmm. And I, I, actually, I say always the same on my blog, I, because I, I saw that a lot of engineers, are, like you said, uh, they think the software is some kind of word uh, software, so mm -hmm. you just push a few buttons and you get something, but uh, I always tell them that you should look at uh, finite analysis as a system. Uh, understand the different parts, how they link together, and how you can uh, improve it to get the results you want, uh, and so it match it matches the reality uh, and what you see in a practical point of view. So not take it as uh, something that does all the work for you and you don't have to think about it, but look at something that uh, can be improved in itself. I uh, agree totally with you because this is very very important to, mm -hmm. to, to keep in mind. The mm -hmm. common sense is very important. To have a culture of disciplines. Uh, some problems are not resolved in mechanical but they are resolved in uh, acoustics. This mm -hmm. is very important. Yeah. If you have this culture of a lot of disciplines, you can be more efficient in resolving your mechanical problems. Mm -hmm. Because it has been done in acoustics, mm -hmm. it has been done in uh, chemical, and this is very very important to, to, to use. And if you use, and if you use usually the box as uh, as only a tool as commercial point of view, you, 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 there is no sense, and you have to give sense for yeah. what you are yeah. doing. And yeah. this is very important. I, I, I usually say to my student, if your program is not running, which is a fatal error, this is very important. We are very lucky because yeah. it gave us the opportunity to think what is the problem and to resolve it. And this is very important. Mm. But if the problem is running and they gave us a result, a lot of students are very happy to, to have the results and they mm. said, now it yeah, is the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. This is now more difficult mm. because we are not sure yeah. that the computer gave us the real results. Yeah. So we have to be very, 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 pay more attention if the computer gave us the results because there is a responsibility mm. and, uh, and analysis are very, very important in this case. So. Pay attention in this case, and one have some problems, one the program is not working, this is good for you because you will be sure that you will rethink the problem, and this is very interesting. I like very much those words you said that uh, when you, s you have an error message you should be uh, so lucky to have this because it gives you an indication sure. about your problem, and, you, and if you have an indication about the problem then you know how to solve it. Exactly. Uh, and this is all about engineering. Engineering have to understand the problem, make it very clear, so clear that actually you know exactly how to solve it. I am, I am sure uh, that if the, if the problem is easy, mm. that uh, it is not interesting for me. And if it, the problem is very, very difficult, it gave me challenge to, yeah. to, to, to build my strategy, mm. to, uh, to think about the whole system, to learn about what is happening in the nature, Happen, which is done in the nature is very important. Mm -hmm. I, I, I said to my student, you have to learn what is happening in example in fractals. There is oh, some right. results, yeah. it seems uh, disordinated, yeah. but in fact with uh, a kind of a good look, think about, about it, you can resolve and you can uh, have some conclusion which are mm -hmm. very, very interesting. Yeah. Your eyes must, should look to the problem from a lot of uh, direction mm. and this is very very important mm. because we have to think yeah. and we have to rethink and we have to rethink again because it is very important to do it yeah. and to be sure. Yeah. 
So it's like looking at the tree and looking at the forest. When, exactly. when you look at the bigger picture, sometimes you see some kind of uh, scheme or some kind of strategy or system that you, you didn't realize before. Sure, for sure. And last question about what, what kind of subject are you working on right now? So uh, now I am uh, working on two subjects which for me are, are important. Energy. This is very important. Mm. Energy, materials, buildings, uh, nuclear waste uh, storage. This is usually linked to the energy. This is a very real problem which I will face in the future more and more for energy, usually for society. As a, as a user in the buildings, or for uh, for the how how to reuse wastes, link it usually to to the energy and the uh, environmental problem, mm -hmm. how how to build a strategy to reduce to uh, to, uh, to, to 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 be in a world more uh, more cleaner and the challenges for the f for the for the century are based on energy and environment. Mm -hmm. So all what I am doing on the materials, on the structure on the tunnels, on the storage waste, on the buildings are usually linked to this kind of, to this mm -hmm. uh, fields which are very important as an uh, as indicator for me. And I, which I advise usually to my students and not to be also only a user of the software, even if you understand the theory, the yeah. design and the practical, but I encourage them to, 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 to innovate for a new element. A new method of resolution, yeah. more rapid, more efficient. Yeah. This is very important yeah. and this is, cannot be done only yes. in spreading their knowledge and yeah. their contact everywhere. Yeah, that's fascinating. Uh, I, I still didn't reach this level. <laughs> I hope I'll, I'll be able to look at the algorithm and say what is wrong and what can, what can I improve inside uh, one day. Uh, you will. <laughs> <laughs> that's extremely uh, challenging and also interesting to think that uh, we have this power to make the world better using uh, technology uh, and having this understanding, this global understanding of the different technologies and different industries to finally make everything converge and solve some of the biggest problems we have right now, energy and, uh, uh, and clean uh, air or uh, exactly. all those kind of things. We have no solution right now, but it doesn't mean that uh, some engineer will not find a solution in a few years and this will change everything. Sure. So, thank you so much for today's uh, interview. My pleasure, uh, thank you so much uh, Cyprian <laughs> and I hope that to meet you again and I hope to hire you because you, you became more expert than me in, in, <laughs> no. in many fields so I am very I happy so. to, to... and thank you <laughs> thank for your invitation. So thank you so much.